Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be talking about Dusty, my Alright, who's Dusty, right? Well, let me tell you. Dusty is my brand new to me, previously enjoyed 1994 OBS 5th generation OJ Simpson style Ford Bronco. Boom, meet Dusty, guys. So if you've been following me on Instagram for a little while, you probably already know that I already bought this thing. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, you should definitely go there. I'll put the little link here. You can go follow me on Instagram because I put a lot of stuff. What I'm doing sort of immediately there first before it comes here. But yeah, meet Dusty, the 1994 Ford Bronco that will be the channel's project vehicle. Um, now, why did I buy this thing, right? Well, you guys uh, may or may not know, I'm sure you, most of you do that follow me, uh, that I am a Team Bronco ambassador, and that means that Ford is basically sending me a 2021 Ford Bronco to use for the next 12 months. Um, you know, and so part of that agreement is it's, you know, there's some auto exclusivity there. But more than that, I just, I like to do things sort of all in. And personally, I've always had a passion for cars and stuff like that, but I've always really liked the old school Broncos. Um, my first truck was a 1992 Flareside regular cab F-Series pickup. It's where I met my wife in. And, um, Basically, these things are the same exact vehicle from the front seats forward. And, you know, it's a kind of a walk down memory lane for me as well. And I figured it'd be really, really fun to buy a 27-year-old truck, make an adventure out of it. We flew to California to get it, and we drove it all the way back to Texas. There'll be a second video on that coming soon, so keep an eye out for that. We documented the entire adventure. We hit places like Vegas, the Grand Canyon. We went to the Hoover Dam. We stopped in New Mexico. We saw Route 66. So a lot of cool stuff there with the adventure behind going and getting this thing. But more importantly, I thought it would be just super cool to buy a really old truck and fully restore it here on the channel and share all of it with you guys. So I have a lot of plans moving forward for this truck, including literally stripping it down to nothing and rebuilding it. Paint, interior, freshening up the powertrain, you know, maximizing the horsepower out of this thing. Um, you know, so why did I pick this specific Bronco, how did I find this specific Bronco, how much did I pay for this Bronco, let's talk about some of those things, right? So several people on Instagram have been like, man, you must have paid $12,000, $15,000, $18,000, $25,000 for that thing. I paid $8,000 for this Bronco. How long did it take me to find it, right? I spent about a month on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace searching for Broncos. I had about 25 different ones that I was sort of eyeballing and before I made a purchase, it needed to check off several things before I committed to buying one. And on these specific Broncos, they are really prone to having a lot of rust on the rear quarters and the tailgates and some other areas of it. So I wanted to find something that had as little to no rust as possible. This one has literally no rust on it. So that checked that box off. Um, you know, I wanted to find one that did not have just, you know, a quarter million miles on it because again, Gosh, 85, 90% of the Broncos that I found all had 200 plus thousand miles on it. This one had 145, 243 miles on it when I bought it. So almost 100,000 miles less than average for these year, uh, you know, for this year time frame. So had, you know, low miles comparatively. And then I wanted to have the big engine. You know, if you're familiar with these old Broncos, they were available with two different powertrains, one being the 5.0 302 cubic inch Ford, uh, you know, engine or the 351 Windsor 5.8. This one has the 5.8. So it checked all my boxes, right? Now it needs to do several things other than that too. So I pulled a Carfax on it before I bought it. I asked the guy to send me the VIN number. He did. I paid for the Carfax like 35 bucks. Now granted, that's not going to have all of the information there, but it's gonna have a lot of it. And uh, when I pulled the Carfax, I found a little bit more uh, 
out about it and was able to sort of get a little bit more of an understanding of the vehicle's life. Meaning it's had three previous owners before me. The first owner owned it for 24 and a half years and he bought it out of Mesa, Arizona. I actually have the original window sticker too. It was still in the Bronco. All of the original books and the VIN tag uh, for your records. So, you know, it's a 27 year old truck, 24 and a half of its years were owned by one individual. So that was really awesome to find that out. All of the maintenance history and record have been documented or done either at dealerships or, you know, places where they actually kept record of it. So on the Carfax, man, the oil changes and service intervals, transmission services, uh, you know, sus suspension, up you know, not upgrades, but suspension maintenance, everything was listed like almost to the T per Ford's record. So it had been very well maintained for its lifetime. Um, and then also it did not have any reported accidents. So we're talking the original paint, the original body. Uh, the only thing that is not factory on this thing is the wheels and the front grill. Um, it looks like he may have, at some point, this thing had a small, you know, I don't know, maybe hit a fence or something, but like all of the panels on it are original. So the more and more I kept digging into it, the more and more I was like, man, this thing is just, it's got, it's just the perfect unit, right? So. I paid eight thousand dollars for it, so I didn't pay. I didn't. I don't think I overpaid for it, and um, it's clean. Jack and I drove it twenty-two hundred miles. We we literally got to California. Guy handed us the keys. We turned around and headed straight back. So I, I would say that that's reliable. You know, I mean, it it definitely built up a lot of confidence for me, and that's without even doing anything to it yet. So I I, I couldn't be happier with 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 the Bronco basically, or with Dusty. Um, now, going forward, my intentions are to start working on this thing probably in the next three to four months. Uh, to be honest with you guys, I don't really wanna rip it apart until I got the new one in hand. And then also, I'm trying to be smart about content and the channel and stuff, so you know, I'm wanting to basically turn the profits that I'm making off of the channel putting it back into this. So on average, you know, just I'll be upfront with you guys, the channel makes on average about 650 bucks a month. So I'm basically gonna be putting that money into it monthly is what my intentions are. So man, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, like this video. If you wanna see me start tearing this thing and putting more work into it, you know, a little faster, the faster we can get this channel to kind of bump up, the faster we can start building this thing. Um, I'll have some more videos coming soon about this thing, but that's, this, that's dusty. Uh, I'll show you the inside. I didn't. I didn't touch anything on this. I left it exactly how it was from the day that we picked it up to now. I've owned it for about a week. Uh, uh, so I didn't want to. I wanted to show you guys exactly how it is in its current condition from basically day one, so to speak. So you know. So you guys can have an, under, an understanding on the condition of the Bronco. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed the video about Dusty. The next video will be the entire trip from Ridgecrest, California to South Texas. Jack and I documented the entire thing, so that's a super fun adventure, so make sure you stay tuned to follow and watch that. And then other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, I'm gonna do like a detailed video here soon too, probably after the cross country trip, where I start cleaning it up and then getting ready for the restoration process. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, again, like the video. If you have some questions about Dusty or the Team Bronco Ambassadorship, drop me a comment. I'll be sure to answer those as soon as I can. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.